right after the Amsoil finish line. All right, checkered flag is out. Here we go. Taking that checkered. Let every lap. You can see on the beautiful drone shot. That's the 407. Put your hands together for Jackson Holcomb. Second place, Tavin Knutson. Third place, Trent Peterson. Fourth place, Trip Knutson. Owen Eide. Lila Hammer, Axel Krusky round out the field. All right, coming up next, the speeds will pick up as we go into a practice session. We are going to hit the Pro-Am women. So we will, uh... Okay, we're gonna let our Pro-Am women take their practice session. We're gonna take a real quick break. Once again, you are watching the Tyson ISOC National presented by Quickstar here at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds and Event Center. The More For Your Community Grant Program is designed to serve basic needs of our local Tysons communities. We think it's important to give back. As part of the fourth generation, I'm gonna make sure that we continue this for many years to come. Snowcross fans, Amsoil has been a longtime supporter of snowmobile racing, and they're here for you. Stop down to the vendor area and visit with your Amsoil dealer. Learn about all the products to keep your toys and vehicles running at peak performance all year round. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Leclerc, I am the BRP Race Manager and today I will give you a quick tour of our race shop. When we have multiple customers across the globe, uh, we need to be able to ship everywhere and to have spare parts for everyone. So we have a little parts, parts department where we keep everything in stock and where we can ship uh, to uh, our racers and customers to keep them on the racetrack and uh, keep them happy. We also have um, all equipment needed to build exceptional product. Uh, we have very knowledgeable people that uh, are able to build and test everything that we want, everything that we need. Obviously, technology is a main factor in here, so we push technology all the time. It never stops. No matter if it's suspension, chassis, engine, or reliability, we need to tackle everything. That's what we do here all year long. When I say all year long, I truly mean it. We, we work on the dirt with side-by-sides, and we work on the snow as well with snowmobile. No matter if it's a snow cross track or hill climb or cross country, we can do everything here. Uh, we can calibrate shocks, calibrate engines, uh, build chassis, we, we have everybody and every tool needed to do everything. We race for two reasons. First of all, on the marketing side, when we win on a Sunday, it's easier to sell product on a Monday. But we also invest a lot in R&D. The racetrack is where we test our product before it goes into production line. So every customer benefits from everything that we test on the racetrack. Once a production unit comes off the production line, uh, we take it to the race shop and we make sure that it's ready for racing. Uh, we adapt shock calibration, clutch calibration, and, and engine calibration as well. So we take it here and we make sure that it's ready for our customers to go on the racetrack, no matter where it, where it is. Uh, it might be uh, the mountains, the deep snow, or snow cross track, or even cross country for the Iron Dog people. So uh, we take every product here, we adapt it, and we make sure that it's ready for the racetrack. For off-road racing, uh, we receive the side-by-sides from the production line. Uh, they are customer's unit, uh, production unit, that we uh, modify to make sure that it will be suitable for their new environment, their racing environment. Uh, we will either reinforce the chassis where needed, uh, we will change uh, shock calibration, tires, engine calibration if needed, and we will want to make sure that it's fully ready for their new environment. We have multiple uh, workstations uh, for our vehicles, obviously. Uh, we work on them all year long, so we need to be well equipped. All, all tools needed to re rework, uh, to modify, to create, we have everything needed. Uh, we have a shock dyno here, so we can calibrate our, our own shocks and modify them according to their uh, very demanding environment. So we have everything we need 
to, uh, to make sure that the sleds are uh, ready for racing. My name is Jeff Leclerc. Thanks for stopping by at the BRP Race Shop. for your community grant program is designed to serve basic needs of our local Tysons communities. We think it's important to give back as part of the fourth generation. I'm going to make sure that we continue this for many years to come. Welcome back Snowcross fans. It is the Tyson Snowcross National presented by Quickstar. We are here in the beautiful Dubuque, Iowa, a beautiful snowy day, but you guys need to come down and get a pit pass because they're only $10. You can meet the riders, get autographs, take pictures, see the mechanics working on the sleds and so much more. So make sure you guys come down and get a pit pass. General Equipment has great opportunities for diesel tech. A lot of our techs will say they work with their friends. They love who they work with. They come to work every day and work with like-minded people. Everybody feels like family when you come to work here. It's not, it doesn't feel like work. Come here, do your job, and you got a smile on your face all day long. You get along with everybody. Everybody likes to hang out together. No drama. <laughs> I went to the North Dakota State College of Science for the Komatsu Diesel Technology Program. Based on my grades, I was able to get 100% uh, of my tuition reimbursed. A guaranteed job after two years. Uh, that's kind of what got me going on it. That really prepared me not coming out of school with financial debt, you know, being able to be ahead of everything. Every day in general is something different. It's not come in and do the same thing day in, day out. We work hard, we play hard, we enjoy what we do. Working here in this position, it gives you an opportunity to build your toolbox. I see young technicians here after work all the time. They're working on their, their rangers, their race cars, their, their snowmobiles. If you like that, if you like wrenching, if you like modding stuff up, it's, it's just a great, great position to get into. Great place to work. The benefits are fantastic. One of the things I like about General Equipment is it gives me the financial freedoms to ice fish, hunt, snowmobile. I am actually a pretty avid snowmobiler myself. I have probably 20 to 30 snowmobiles and it's cool being able to see them fly around out on the track out there. If you're the type of person where snowcross appeals to you, being a diesel technician will definitely appeal to you. I'm pro snow bike racer Jackie Reese, proud to partner with Operation Vet Now. The OVN Fallen Heroes Tribute places the names of fallen veterans on race slides and bikes all season long. Operation Vet Now. Be there for our veterans. There are currently 8 million Americans battling PTSD. 17 veterans commit suicide every day. 10 out of every 17 veterans that commit suicide are not receiving care. The veteran suicide rate is 52% higher than non-veterans in the United States. 30% of veterans who have served since Vietnam have or will suffer from PTSD. Be there. Be there. Be there for our veterans. Hi, this is Nathan McConnell, lead tech at Warner Racing. I'm here with the 220 Francis Pelletier Racing Snowmobile. We're going to talk about uh, racer controls and comfort. Um, we'll start up front. We have uh, the ROX handguards, and uh, we ran this 
foam in the handguards at the last race in Fargo because it was 20 below zero with 20 mile an hour wind. So we needed a little extra protection. So we added the foam on a set of handguards and put them on and we raced them the entire weekend. Uh, we also run the Rocks bar pad here. Uh, it's lightweight, super lightweight. Um, we remove the stock grips when the snowmobiles are new. This is a stock skidoo grip that comes on the RS. All of our riders run the ODI grip. It's uh, really soft, super grippy, and we just wire tie them on with safety wire. Another thing that we change for the riders is this is the stock kill switch. Um, it's a switch like this, so you could bump it while racing and accidentally shut your snowmobile off. So we remove this and we wire in a push button style. Uh, you have to hold it down to make the snowmobile stop. So you're less likely to bump that off while racing. So that's what we do for safety. Um, the button that's on this side that's gray is the hot start button that the riders use. When they hold this button, they hold that down and they push on the throttle at the start line. That's the computer changes timing and fuel delivery <clears throat> and it heats up the pipe. And they need a hot pipe for the start. So that's what this button is. And on the trail snowmobiles, any button over here is gonna be a reverse or a shot system to start the snowmobile. On the left hand side with the hot start button is the, uh, the brakes. Put the stirrups down here. Uh, we've added a piece of plastic on both stirrups to keep the rider's foot inside the stirrup. The stirrup is held with four bolts and it's in a slot so we can change the foot position for the rider. Now we're on the 221 snowmobile, Dan Benham. He rides with a different style plastic here. It holds a lot more of his boot on the snowmobile. Um, this one is adjustable also. Uh, he's running the same tunnel traction as Francis so that they can actually squeeze the machine when they jump so they can take the snowmobile with them when they're jumping. We we'll make our way up here. We've got Rocks Speed FX built us custom seat covers for all of our snowmobiles. Francis rides um, kind of a smooth seat, but it's still grippy and it works really well for him. Uh, he moves around the machine a lot and is able to keep the machine under him at all times. Now we're on the 221 snowmobile, Dan Benham. He has some added traction down here that we get from rocks that he uses for the hole shot. He'll stick either one or both of his feet back here and he wants them locked on these so he doesn't slip off the machine on the start line. And his seat is a little different. He has um, a moto style seat with strips sewn across here so he has traction for sliding off the back of the machine. It's also very grippy on the sides, but he's got lots of grip up there. This is Nathan McConnell at Warner Racing. Thank you for joining me on Makita Shop Talk. Hey, Snowcross fans. Amsoil has been a longtime supporter of snowmobile racing, and they're here for you. Stop down to the vendor area and visit with your Amsoil dealer. Learn about all the products to keep your toys and vehicles running at peak performance all year round. The More For Your Community Grant Program is designed to serve basic needs of our local Tysons communities. We think it's important to give back. As part of the fourth generation, I'm gonna make sure that we continue this for many years to come. Freedom. It's what we're built on. What we live for. What we run on. Run with us. Run Interceptor in your new model year sled and we'll back you with our Runs on Freedom limited warranty. Learn more and order at mzoil.com. After 60 years of revolutionizing the game, we're just getting started. We're putting power steering on the world's most powerful snowmobile, taking a mountain-taming suspension to new heights, 
building an instigator crossover sled that can adjust to terrain instantly and giving new attitude to our mid-sized rebel. We wrote the rules, then we broke them, and now we're making more trouble than ever. None of us can see the future. But we reach towards it anyway. We might doubt whether we're good enough. Or brave enough. Or question whether we belong. But there's a place between now and the future where you realize you've always belonged. It's up here. Join, Join us. us. Rise above. I got that right turn, we're good. Uh, meet up at the compound group up. I turn four. Yeah, for sure, dog. Good little driver, straight on through. My husband's parents were visiting, and I promised them a home-cooked meal. Except my boss had a different idea. He tells me, hold your horses. I call my husband and I say, I'm slammed. And he's like, quick start? And I'm like, bingo. At quick start, I say, what's good tonight? And the quick start guy is like, everything. But I go for the hand-breaded fried chicken. And I go, make that times four. Being none the wiser, my mother-in-law is like, I always said she's a keeper. I'll run with that. Quick start, we got you covered. Experience Makita's cordless outdoor power equipment. The chainsaw starts instantly and features a brushless motor that provides power equivalent to a 32cc gas model. Get unstoppable power without the hassles of gas. Now quieter than ever, the blower reaches speeds of 120 miles per hour. Use Makita's cordless products anytime, anywhere. One system, endless possibilities. Amsoil runs on freedom and has since 1972. We changed the industry by formulating the first API qualified 100% synthetic motor oil. The rest of the market has been trying to follow our lead ever since, but a head start is a head start. We punish our products firsthand in our world-class laboratories and beyond because some things can't be learned from a test tube. Run with us. I always say, any day on a snow... My husband's parents were visiting, and I promised them a home-cooked meal. Except my boss had a different idea. He tells me, hold your horses. I call my husband, and I say, I'm slammed. And he's like, quick start? And I'm like, bingo. At quick start, I say, what's good tonight? And the quick start guy is like, everything. But I go for the hand-breaded fried chicken. And I go, make that times four. Being none the wiser, my mother-in-law is like, I always said she's a keeper. I'll run with that. Quick start. We got you covered. Tyson's is more than a store. Because when our neighbors need something, we're here to help. You choose Tyson's because you're more than just a customer. You're our brothers, sisters, friends, and family. We give back to our community, your community, because we live where you live. We're not some big name store. We're local, and we like it that way. Tyson's is more than a store. Because we're not shareholders, we're family. Tyson's Home Farm Auto. Okay, welcome back to the Tyson Snowcross National here at the Dubuque 
Fairground and Event Center. Before we get into our actual sport heat number one race, I would like to announce to everybody here on the grounds that pro autograph session is going on right now. Mom and dad, take the kids, go inside, get an autograph from your favorite pro. Okay, on the line right now, heat number one of our sport class, race number 51 on the day. From the riding a skidoo, Central Lakes Coatings, Mike Schmidt Trucking from Swanville, Minnesota, the number 530 Eli Epling on that skidoo. FXR Racing Players and Corrosion Specialists from Princeton, Minnesota, on the number 223 is Bo Tibbetts. Walker Evans, FXR Playstead Companies from Medina, Minnesota, the number 747. Polaris of Cameron Cole. FXR ERX and Gasset Gear from Rogers, Minnesota. On the 113 Skidoo, Dominic Hegman. Excavation Marcel Bolio from Rochelot, Quebec. That's Jeremy Bolio on the 122 Skidoo. Fratalone Company's Mystic FXR and Stillwater Motors from Stillwater, Minnesota. On the 318 Polaris, Logan Fratalone. And the Fly MBRP's Powered Sports Machine from Allenton, Michigan is the 185 Skidoo, Colin Anderson. As they come across completing lap number one, looks like it is the 185 of Colin Anderson. Leading the group, call Dominic Hegman, Logan Fratalone, Jeremy Bolio, and Bo Tibbetts rounding out your top five. As they're running right now across the... Uh, Finish line for the first lap is now they are heading already into that large sweeping corner, the FXR into the Tysons, coming down to complete lap number two. Remember, autograph session going on right now inside the building for those of you that are here on the grounds. Got it, uh, two, th three abreast there for, four abreast. Look at there for a while for second place. All chasing Dominic Hegman. See how this one shakes out as the uh, white flag will be coming out. Leader now into the Tyson section will be heading through the quick star into the Amsoil finish line to collect that white flag. One lap remaining. Just a word from uh, our control session is the autograph session for the pros has been canceled for today. So, come back outside. Let's watch a little racing as this one comes down to a conclusion to the checkered flag, heat number one of the sport class. It has been led by Dominic Hegman from the beginning. Can he hang on for the checkered? There he is. Taking the checker, that is the 113 right, Dominic Hegman. Second place given to Colin Anderson on the 185, rounding out your top three. Bo Tibbetts, then it's Jeremy Bolio, Rolkin Fratalone, Eli Epling, and Cameron Cole. Heat number two of our sport riders, Vermeer of Iowa, is Denison, Iowa's Colton Krejcik on the number 153. London Recreational Racing from Zephyr, Ontario, Creighton Dillon on the 906 Skidoo. Fly Racing and Woody's Traction from Innisfil, Ontario on the 140 Players. That's Cale Firth. Amsoil, U.S. Air Force, BRP Climb and Ford from Heartland, Vermont. Adam Ashline on the 710 Skidoo. Distinctive Iron, Shady Deal Depot. Big Lake, Minnesota brings us the 536 of Grady Johnson. FXR, Rhino Power Skidoo and VG Race Fuel from St. Sophie, Quebec. On the 111 Skidoo, that's Nathan Maylox. And Eric Downs is here on the 129 Players of Jordan, Minnesota from the Fratalone Company, FXR Stillwater Motors Machine. And leading that first lap coming across is Adam Ashline by about nine tenths of a second over Kale Firth, Eric Downs, Colt Krejcik, Crane Dillon, and Nathan Maylox. Oh, almost a nosedive for our leader coming across off the uh, Skidoo Baxson section there. You probably saw that on that drone shot. We're watching now the second, third, and fourth. We have a good race going on for fourth right now. Side by side as they race into the 
front stretch across that finish line. It is still Adam Ashline over Eric Downs, Kale Firth, and Colton Krajacek. Whoa, we have one rider down, as you saw that on the drone. We'll get him uh, up and back in competition. And that was in the uh, Polaris section there. White flag is out. One lap remaining in this event. And your leader still is Adam Ashline on that skidoo. Eric Downs second, Cale Firth in third, Nathan Baylock, Colton Trachek, and Creighton Dillon. And now we have some body parts coming off that skidoo there in front. That may have been our down sled. Looked like a uh, part of the cowling come off. As we're coming down to get that checkered flag, and it will go to Adam Ashline on that number 710 ride. Eric Down second, Kale Firth in third. Nathan Maylock, Great Dillon, Colt Krejcik. Okay, that is heat number two of our sport class. Heat number three coming up on the line. Skidoo Ride FXR from Hilmerson Sports Center of Edina, Minnesota's Kellen Chaperone on the 254 Skidoo. Dees Marine from Grosley, Michigan. That's Josh Shepard on the 217 Skidoo. FXR Woody's Traction and Rock Speed out of Medford, Wisconsin. Say hello to Zach Farmer on the 407 Polaris. Ingalls and Woody CNA Pro Skis Rocks XP from Keene, New Hampshire. The 509 Skidoo Jake Baltwell. Ray C Extreme, Women's Integrated Healthcare from Lapeer, Michigan on that 368 Skidoo, that's Hayden Meyer. Northern Power Electric out of Mancelona, Michigan, the 901 Players is Tyler Archambo. NMC Exteriors and Remodeling, Articat, Articat Wear and Motor Fits from Augusta, Wisconsin, Devin Malchin rides the number 720 Articat. Lakeland Power Sports, Big Kit. Uh, Power Sports Do Talk and KRM Enterprises out of Fox Lake, Illinois. The 112 Skidoo, Brian Peterson. Eight riders on the sheet. Under starter's orders, take a look on the start line. As we get this one uh, under starter's orders, as you can take a look uh, to your right of your screen, the end of the Pertec Core Blast is our starter who operates the switch, they say. When he flips it to green, it's go. And a great start we had. Going through the sweepy corner into the Tysons now coming down to the finish line, leading this first lap. That's going to be Tyler Archambault, Zach Farmer's second. Brian Peterson rounding out your top three as they run right now. Around the U.S. Air Force section, the players now the back straightaway skidoo roller section, trying to get a little bit of space between themselves. One rider down as we go through the sweeping corner into the FXR and Tyson's completing lap number two. It is the rider Tyler Archambault, Zach Farmer still in second with Jake Boutwell rounding out your top three as they are running right now. Riders now working their way through the player section, now heading the back straightaway once again. Lots of speed here in the sport class, but they are in a yellow flag zone, and they are not allowed to jump, catch the guy in front of them, and they must slow down, and they uh, have to keep the skis and track on the ground. White flag is out. Safety first on a yellow red flag zone, or yellow zone, I'm sorry. Caution zone, it's a yellow flag. When you see that come out, you must uh, remain control, keep the machine on the ground, no passing, no jumping. Until you clear that yellow flag zone. Now we are heading into the Tyson corner for the last time on this particular heat race. Checkered flag is out, and the checkered flag will go to that 901 ride. That is Tyler Archambo on that Polaris. Second place coming across on that Polaris. The 407 of Zach Farmer. Third place 
will be the 509 of Jake Boutwell on that skidoo. Rounding out the race is Devin Mulching, Hayden Meyer, Josh Shepard, Kellen Chaperone, and Brian Peterson. All right, according to my schedule, we are up for pro light practice. So I believe we will be taking a quick break, and let the boys practice. This is the Tyson Snowcross National presented to us by Quick Star Store here at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds and Event Center in Dubuque, Iowa. We'll be right back. I'm Jesse Kirschmeyer and you're watching Snowcross Live. Freedom. It's what we're built on. 